clock allowing for end of life visits at nursing homes during the pandemic, letting the attorney general get in on abortion law fights and letting the General Assembly set its own calendar. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Doug Profit. Well, things went from zero to 60 in just seconds today at the state capitol as lawmakers return to work. And WHS 11th political editor Chris Williams is live at the capitol right now covering the first day back where it's going to be a wild week. He is joining us now with more on what's getting started in Frankfurt. Chris. Doug, opening day of the General Assembly is like the first day of school. Optimism fills the air. People are all dressed nice. There's hope and trying to people trying to make a, a good first new impression. Well, it didn't take long for one side to scuff the other's new sneakers and remind us all that at some point someone would order up a meeting at the bike rack after the bell rang. That 2021 is the year we. Not us and them, but we. New 43rd District State Representative Pamela Stevenson wasn't alone with an upbeat attitude on opening day, but even as families watched from the balconies and elbow bumps played out in the House and Senate, reminders of pandemic issues and new supersized supermajorities were clear. Five House bills and five Senate bills are already moving. They include efforts to set firm rules for businesses complaining that the governor's pandemic restrictions were confusing, allow for end of life visits in now sealed up long term care facilities, and abortion bills. House Bill 2 already has passed a committee and the General Assembly gaveled in six hours ago. That means the abortion bill and nine others could be headed to Governor Andy Beshear's desk by Saturday night, but expect a fight, verbal jabs and vetoes. And in those top priority bills, we heard the partisan power grabs and the political hot button issues. But what I found missing, I didn't hear anything about raising the wages of Kentucky workers. I didn't hear anything about making sure that every Kentuckian, particularly in a pandemic, has access to quality and affordable health care. Republicans countered that this is not a power grab. They're exerting the will of the people, voters who gave their party a nearly clean sweep in November. Getting these bills clear means that they can focus on the budget. The governor will announce his recommendations Wednesday night. Speaker David Osborne responded to a question about the plan. I, I just look forward to seeing um, what he has to, to propose. We will certainly uh, consider that by some of the things that I'm hearing. I, I, I believe that uh, uh, perhaps he is dealing with a different set of reality than we are, quite frankly. Uh, but uh, but I look forward to, uh, to seeing his proposal. We will absolutely give it every bit of consideration. Leadership has yet to make a set schedule, but they suggest that they could schedule a workday on Saturday to wrap up all of those bills. You can expect that it's very likely that Governor Andy Bashir will veto some on the menu, but with bigger super majorities in the Republicans in the House and the Senate, it's very clear that they have the votes to override any veto. Live at the Capitol, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.